All right, so sitting here with uh, Sheldon Schultz, and uh, I haven't seen you for a while since your, your last fight. So, how have you been keeping? Oh, man, it's good to see you. I've been very well, thank you. Hope you've been doing well yourself. Yeah, yeah, all, all, all's well on my side. Last time we were there at your shop in Edenvale, I believe that you've changed stations now. 100%, yeah. Um, the barbering game is always a crazy game. The gentleman opened up the shop and it didn't really last. And then I got an opportunity to go to another place and yeah, it's thriving. I'm working out in Bononi now and it's such a good place, eh? Yeah. All right, and uh, I mean, work is important, um, but also getting back in the ring is important. Uh, you, I believe you're getting back in the ring really soon. Uh, a tough opponent uh, coming back in, as far as I'm hearing. Um, what do you make of that? Sure, he is a tough opponent. I watched his last fight. Yes, he's a phenomenal boxer. Like, honestly, he just, you can see he's hard. He's really, really hard, and he's going to, like, bring everything on the night. And, that, you know, to be honest with you, I find when you fight a really good opponent, it brings out the best in you. So I'm just hoping to like take away that element and just be the like the best that I can on the night and hopefully, you know, outbox and do what I'm meant to do, you know. And he, the guy that we're talking about, he fought uh, Shavante Kurtman in the last fight. Kurtman managed to beat him on a points decision. I mean, do you draw any inspirations from that fight that Shavante had? Definitely, definitely, man. I was sure. That was honestly my favorite fight of the night. I watched all those fights and that knockout from the dragon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, I did. I took a lot from that. And I, w I hope that like I can like maybe see something from that fight and be like, okay, if he's going to come in at me, I must maybe do this or do that. But you know how it is. You can train and train and train. But then on the day... Yeah you know it's it's so unexpected so i'm just trying to stay prepared for all elements if i can put it that way well yeah the last time we did an interview as well there was a lot of names i mean obviously it's that that's gone a bit quiet but um I'll get a win back here is that uh, back on track man of course i would love to you know boxing is insane um you just when you think you're at this level then something comes along and like humbles you back down and it's just like you know what take your seat you still got a lot of learning to do. You never stop learning. So honestly, um, I'm not even really looking out that far. I think that was the mistake I made the last time, was just looking out too far, not being prepared enough for my opponents and looking after myself. And I think I also just went too hard on myself and put too much pressure, like, you know, put so much expectations out there. Then when the day comes and if you don't deliver, then it just seems like gas, like it's nothing. So at this point, I just honestly just humbled myself, getting back on, on track and just going back to the drawing board and continuously trying to be more technical because, you know, I got thrown in the deep end in this game and I, I know I'm learning through every fight, whether it's a win or a loss. But at the end of the day, I'm not done and yeah. I'm not quitting. But yeah, I just want to get better and better. And that, that's what I'm taking from all of these scenarios and that but when the, the, the time comes and if the opportunity is there i would like to fight whoever's in front of me but at this time i'm not really focused on any names you know all right i just want to go back to that last fight because obviously live on shiny is actually a lot better than what his record suggests and he's he's coming up i think ever since the boyd results every fight after that he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger so just a look back at him as an opponent i mean what would you, how would you assess him now um yeah, it's a bit of an emotional one, that, because obviously, yes, your brother, I put in so much work. There was no doubt in my mind that I was, you know, going to beat him. But, um, yeah, like, on the day, I don't know what happened. I just, when I stepped in that ring, uh, I lost all my power, all my energy. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I peaked too soon or what happened. But I give it to him. You know, he, he deserves it. I would love to have a rematch, because I still do believe that bout is mine. And yeah, he, he is good, but um, I feel like, you know, on the night he, he brought it. He was the better man. And I feel if I just get another opportunity and I can, or I was a bit more energetic that night, maybe things would have been different, but can't say what if, whatever. So I give it to him, and he really is growing, and I wish him nothing but the best. But if I can get another opportunity, I promise things will go differently, you know what I mean? But like we said, this is boxing. You never know. So you say that you focused one fight at a time now. That's what I've gathered from what you're saying. Um, the guy that you are going to fight now, I mean, what are you expecting of yourself? Let's put it that way in this fight. At this point, I honestly, I just want to get a W. I want to get that win back. You know, it's important as a boxer, you know, to get that W on your record. 
but the main goal for me is just to go that that distance and finish the fight strong mm. you know what i mean finish it strong if you get the knockout wow amazing who doesn't but just want to finish that fight really strong and get the experience from us get the rounds behind me and like i say get that w and then you know just continue the training path that i'm on because you know you learn as you go through it yeah. you know so i'm busy learning i'm still learning but honestly just want to get through this fight i want to give it my all and i just yeah i'll see you on the day because like i said i don't know what i'm going to expect from the guy i don't know how he's going to be on the day yeah i mean that's that that's basically from the beginning of your career a lot of people would have said okay sheldon's got a good left hand he knocks people out but for you i mean as you mature in your career you just can't knock everyone out it's just a fact of life i mean that's probably why you've been pushing uh hard in training and uh is this the how's this training camp gone let's put it that way yeah, this training camp's gone very well. I did get the call only like a few weeks ago for the fights. But you've been training? But I've been training, okay. been staying active. But it's nice to know that, okay, now you're fighting now. you you got to be this much the time, this what, what, what. So obviously you're just putting a bit more pressure on yourself during the time. So the camp is going well. I've just been focusing on my fitness because that's the main thing. I just want to be super, super fit. And you know, in the beginning, I think it was just like more raw and rough and rugged i just wanted to like run in there and like just finish the fight where now i'm actually trying to pace myself out so i'm still trying to learn learn the balance out between it and yeah like i said i'd love to get the knockout it is beautiful but if not i would just want to go in there and just show people that i'm actually very technical and that i can move really well and that i can actually put on a good performance as well because you want to be entertaining as well you know yeah. yeah no exactly i mean that's what that's what you want at the end of the day you want people to come watch you box not just uh you pitch up you go home and that's it that's it correct correct so if i do get the knockout oh i'll be happier than anything i promise you because you know you don't get paid for overtime oh, that's, yeah. that's for sure and then i can move on and continue and you know that year is nearly over so I can just continue and I miss being with my, my family and seeing my boy, you know, when you're so busy with training and things, you can't even see your boy in the evening to wash him because you've got to be at the gym and you know what I mean? So I just miss spending that time with my family at this, at this moment as well. All right, and then uh, just keeping on family, you talk boxing family now as well. Are you still with the same coach uh, that you were with previously? Yeah, I'm still with the, the same coach, Mimos Burrito at Sweatbox phenomenal coach yeah and things are going well there thanks for asking yeah and then obviously i see you wearing the the hard knocks uh, t-shirt so you obviously do a little bit of training there as well i'm, I'm assuming 100 percent, that's correct i uh, train with zarin sometimes and jules they help me out with the uh, conditioning and with pad work and all that a phenomenal conditioning coach and just a lot of experience behind the the brain as well you know so big shout out to hard knocks as well how do you feel though i mean like it's two boxing gyms right probably two different methodologies about how to do the business how do you balance like two different methods you know it's crazy that you say that because Mimo is also very technical and so is Zarin Zarin's very very technical so in my approach that's why I like to go to both of them because the one's a bit like old school and the one's a bit new school so when I put the two together I just feel like it makes you a bit more rounded off you know and i just love that technical aspect of it like the 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 more i've been doing boxing the more i've been falling in love with that like dance of it you know when you're hitting and like not getting hit and moving and slipping and just like levels to it and i don't know i would really really just fascinated by that and i just want to be more than just a like powerful boxer you know so i mean sheldon what do you think about all the you know people that will follow you follow the video watch your fights i mean what, what sort of a message do you have for them <clears throat> I just firstly want to say thank you to everybody that's been in my corner and that believes in me and that sees the, what can I say, what's the right words, um, sees the potential in me and sees that I, I can go further if I just put my all into it. Because um, honestly, at the end of the day, boxing is a very lonely sport and when you have good people behind you pushing you and inspired by you, just remind you why you really got into to the sport. Like honestly... I know boxing is crazy and it's very tough, but if it wasn't for my path in the beginning, going with Manny and going with Rocky, because you know Rocky, he still to this day contacts me to see how I'm doing and I give a big shout out to Uncle Rocky because you know you need that, you need that support, and I need that from Zarin and you need your family helping you and sponsors along the way as well. Like it's just really important to have those people support you. So end of the day, I just want to give a big shout out to my family, to my mom to my baby mama, to the people that helped me with this amazing water. If you don't mind, I just want to take a sip, yeah? 
and at the end of the day, just all glory to God. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it, Sheldon. Thank you so much, and hoping to see you after the fight when I get that W, and hopefully we can make another crazy interview. Another crazy one, yeah. <laughs> thank you, brother. Right.